Hi, welcome back to the breadboard. Surprise announcement. Today, a contest will be going live on Hackster.io where you can win some awesome lab kit. There's a first prize, grand prize, of about four and a half thousand US dollars worth of lab equipment. The constraints for this is you have to enter using an IoT 2020. If you already own one, great. If you don't, you have the choice to buy one, but also to help with this competition, we're having effectively a first stage contest to the end of February, where all you have to do is tell us your idea um, for an IoT application. Um, it can be based on an Arduino, a Raspberry Pi, BeagleBone Black, you name it. Uh, but tell us all about your idea and why you would want to win one of these IoT 2020s. We will pick the best 10 ideas at the end of the month and you will receive an IoT 2020 starter kit. All the details of what's in that kit is on the website and we'll send 10 of these out as a complete kit with power supply, ethernet cable, FTDI cable, SD card, etc. Everything you need to get going, including the Arduino relay shield. It's got four relays on, it's got a Tinker Kit uh, IO connections on, um, etc. So great prize. And as I said, 10 of them to get 10 of you up and running and qualifying for the second phase of the contest. If you've already got the IoT 2020, great. You don't need to do anything more. If you're not lucky enough to win one after of the 10 that I'm giving away, then you can just as easily go and buy one if you wanted to enter the contest anyway, either from arduino.cc, and I'll provide the links in the write-up, or from RS Components or Allied Electronics in North America. You, If you want to have add-ons to it, have it linking to uh, edge devices based on an Arduino or an ESP8266 and things like that, that's perfectly fine too. As I said, we're looking for your creativity and how you can utilize one of these. Now, the thing about the I IoT 2020s is you can easily migrate existing applications, whether they're based on Linux or on an Arduino sketch, into these with little or no changes in the code. The first co part of the competition to win 10 of these runs till the end of February, all of March, all of April. The contest will be open for people that have one of the IoT 2020s that want to enter. At the end of April, we'll close the contest and within a couple of weeks, we'll have looked through them and we'll have selected a first prize winner and a runner up to win the two lab kits that we have available. We have a Weller soldering station. We have a Tektronics oscilloscope. We have a lab bench power supply, multimeter, uh, Nipex toolkits, uh, anti-static bench mats, etc. Um, up for grabs. The, all those things I just listed, they're all just one grand prize. There is only going to be one grand prize winner and there's also going to be a runner-up which can win about a thousand dollars worth of uh, lab equipment as well. Multimedia, uh, um, Nipex toolkit, solder sucker and a few other things uh, and a Weller soldering iron of course. The competition I've partnered with RS Components, Weller, Tektronics um, to put together these prizes for this contest. You can email me um, or post comments on the YouTube channel or in Design Spark or various other places uh, to ask questions and get help and things like that. I won't do the contest for you, obviously. Um, and as I said, it's open to a lot more than just the 10 people that win the IoT 2020 from the first part of the contest. But anyway, I want you to have fun. Um, obviously for the grand prize, it's a lot of value. We want to see schematics, bill of materials, some design, working code, etc. So, you know, if you if you you don't have to do a video, but a video will help if it gets it across. We want the entries to be in English. Um, so as detailed as possible, easy to read, etc. You can post the code on either Bitbucket or GitHub if you like and provide links to it. That's okay. Um, and you post the main project submissions on Hackster.io. They have a complete templated site for pro, uh, for projects and contests where you can put your entries in. So please use that for this, otherwise it won't count. Uh, anyway, that's it for the quick announcement. Please, if you're interested, have a go, enter. There's nothing to lose by having a, you know, to try to win one of these. All you need to do is to submit an ID. You don't even have to have code yet. So there's no reason why you shouldn't have a go to win one of the 10 IoT 2020s. And we will be upping the ante a little bit for five of these IoT 2020s. I'm not gonna say anything yet, um, but I will within the next week or so. There's gonna be some special versions of this coming out. 
you know, you, you never know, we might throw in some other things. And I certainly will be posting projects using the IoT 2020 during the co course of the contest, not specifically to compete, because obviously I'm running it, so I can't compete, but to help you uh, figure out how to do things with the IoT 2020, either using Arduino or Node-RED. Aside from that, that's pretty much it. If you're interested, go to the link and apply, register with Hackster.io, uh, provide your details. Give us your ideas or if you've as i said if you've got the iot 2020 already or you want to just you know you you're going to buy one or whatever it might be then there's no reason why you can't start preparing your iot 2020 project right away um, anyway i will look forward to seeing all of your entries and uh, good luck to all of you who apply